Hello guys, so we are back and uh, today we'll be talking about what happens is uh, we are uh, welcome to the fourth tutorial of uh, BSC stock analysis using Python and what we'll be doing is uh, let's see the downloaded data which we have downloaded in the previous tutorial number three and let's see that data first. So like uh, this, we, I just want to, what I want to do is actually, uh, what I, uh, I want to do is, uh, this is in the descending order. So what I want to do is uh, write the whole thing in the ascending order. And so what I'll do is the following code which I'll be doing, I'll be sort according to date. Or for code in list of comms list of comms is here defined here the list of companies all right so that is that see then we uh, what we do is uh, we df is equal to pd dot read csv bsc stock data all right what we do is uh, yeah format code we read the, the uh, we read the csv file we set index let me just set index the date In place equals true. Then what we do is rename the columns. And we rename the close price column. This column as the BSC code. Uh, why we are renaming it will be... Uh, you will come soon come to know if you follow all the tutorials so do follow all the tutorials and yeah in place is equal to through then we drop all the other columns open price then a high price wait I'll just copy paste low price number of uh, WAP I think we can get away with that number of shares oh. number of trades oh, I'm total turnover Deliverable. I'll just close this shit. 
<laughs> it's come in the middle all the time yeah so we'll copy this then what is remaining yeah spread close we just want the closing price for now yeah so we drop that one in place is equal to true yeah that's that then we convert this into a csv file bsc stock data open this date data stock data slash close slash yeah dot csv dot format code R as F reader is equal to CSV dot reader what's F F comma delimiter delimiter is equal to comma then we header oh header is equal to we don't want the header for now next reader for row and reader is equal to date time so we'll be comparing dates and next sorting accordingly strp time not defined rows at, at least for now rows yeah so that that then rows rows dot sort key is equal to item getter item getter 0 then uh, f1 is equal to csv dot so we'll be importing date time for now uh, let's import date time okay we already have I can guess Oh uh, yeah, let's import date time from date time import date time. All right. Uh, so now we'll be so sorting based on the date time, and then what we'll be doing is uh, we'll be writing those rows 
in uh, those sorted rows in a CSV file. dot csv format f1 uh, the header we are saved we will write that header write row header for rows, row and rows, row zero is equal to we convert back from the date time like the format dot str f time str f time. F one dot right row row. So we'll be using that. Yeah. So this is the code for now. And let's call this. Let's do this. Python simple dot py. Okay, we didn't put a colon there. Now let's see the errors. Apparently it's working. I know I don't know it's hanging or something. Sand or what? I don't know. Okay, name CSV now defined. It's imported. Import CSV. What do we else need to import? I don't know. I think that's it. The item getter is not defined. Oh, okay. From operator, from operator import item getter. Okay, apparently we are successful. Apparently, apparently we got those sorted dates. Apparently, yeah, it's sorted. Apparently, apparently it's sorted. Now I'll be using this data for other purposes, which will be shown later. Yeah. So we'll be using this to uh, this data to create labels and stuff, and that's it. And the features will be the the fundamental features will be the data we extracted from moneycontrol.com, and that's it. Yeah. So that was the four uh, four tutorial. Uh,